years typically uses a 15 gram sampling rate, and they typically wipe more of the sample. Yeah, so what happens is after 8, 10, 12 weeks, the system gets fouling because the sensor heads are perfectly clean. So walk me through what is the pressure? I will. So I'm missing pH, but this is, this is conductivity and temperature. The pressure transducer is here in the ball cap. This is our optical dissolved oxygen sensor. This is turbidity. We also, haven't, just a little optical path. Also, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, we're looking at it. The optics are aligned at a 90 degree okay. angle. Um, this is a does that reflect back off the particles? It does. So we're measuring off the particles in the water at a 90 degree so it's refraction. Just this, you don't need a back target. No, that's scatter, correct. Just, just scatter. Back. That's right. Back scatter off the particles in the water at 90 degrees. This is our new total algae sensor. So in the past, we always had a chlorophyll sensor and a blooming algae sensor. We've combined them into a single sensor now. And that does a lot of things, but one of the biggest ones is it allows us to only sense viable live cells. So before we get some interference with dead cells, so we get a much higher accuracy of total alpha biomass now. I'm seeing a greenish core. That's correct. So there's there's a uh, an amber and a blue LED. So we're reflecting at two different wavelengths. Again, just the back scatter. Yeah, that's right. Looking at the reflection back. One is the receiver. So two transmitters and two receivers. And this is the fluorescence is all radiated matter. They were sent off. So it's a UV light source. And then the pH sensor is put there. I got a white pH sensor. I just don't have one of these. So I'm, actually, I have a pH sensor on here. So let's see what that looks like. So this is the smaller system. This is designed more for spot samples. Oh, no, this is the way I coach my girlfriend. I'm trying to What is the way for giving you four? Without the way for all the weeks. Days, days. Yeah. And so now it gets you up to. Well, I've, I have a website. Months. I'm running the Chesapeake. And we've gone 10 weeks here for the last part of the summer. And we've been on the ball. And I know we've found all right to do that ourselves. So we're. Our goal, long term, is six months. We're a long ways off from that point, but we're happy to work at this point. Of course, everybody has their own SFPs. The, the near swamp is obviously very, very high quality data, so they're going to go out much more quickly than we had. But anything we can do to reduce operations and maintenance costs, because as you know, these projects are funded with capital account, but there's no O and M. This is the pH sensor. It's actually a combination of pH and ORP sensor. And we have two versions. We have an unguarded version, which can be light up and this garden version. Um, you know, these kind of revolutionize what we used to do in the past. All of these are smart sensors, so each one of these sensors is transferred onto itself. So we can calibrate a sensor on any instrument, transport to another instrument, and calibrate to another instrument. So now they can actually go out in the field with a single calibrated sensor and respond to other things. And then we have Bluetooth communication back uh, and all sorts of mechanical upgrades.